Moving it to the Titans side of the ball, rookie QB there, Malik Willis. Uh, he looked pretty good last night. I mean, he, he showed glimpses of what he's capable for. Uh, he went one way, bounced at the air, runs in a great touchdown, uh, dual threat athlete of your will. What'd you make of uh, Malik Willis's performance? I think he's got a long way to go to prove to a lot of people that he could belong here. He played. Yeah. Uh, and he played in a program in college with not a lot of talent on his roster. His offensive line used to get beat up. He was forced to do a lot of things in college, which can create bad habits for a young player. Now, I don't necessarily think he has those. I think he's really talented. He's not that big, but he's obviously an amazing athlete, and he's got a cannon for an arm. Uh, he isn't going to get a shot right away, but I do think he is in a pretty unique position, Dubs, in terms of the league. When you take – start taking all the starting quarterbacks and you start mapping out what their trajectory looks like on their team, they're not committed to Tannehill for like the next five years. They would be looking at moving on Tannehill pretty quickly if he yeah. doesn't play up to expectations. And that could give, give Malik Willis, despite him being a mid-round draft pick, an actual opportunity at su succeeding Ryan Tannehill. So for all of the issues that the Titans have gone through this offseason losing A.J. Brown, the long-term path for Malik Willis could be really interesting if he's able to uh, keep playing with the dynamic style that he played with last evening.